inform you guys if you didn't know already uh, Chester and I have a YouTube channel and um, we're planning to vlog this every YouTube channel since 2009 so a lot of um, footage from back in the day is still there I'm only mentioning this now because we do vlog on and off and um, we don't really publicize it we used to but not anymore but, but I want to now I am a person that watches a lot of vlogs from other people and they're it's so nice to see people and how they live and how they interact I, noticed I haven't found Christian couples so this is why I told my husband maybe we should start doing it um, every day again but try it <clears throat> season of um, what YouTube is called Vlogmas is coming out which you vlog all through Christmas so we decided that we're gonna start vlogging Thursday on Thanksgiving will be the Probably first won't one. be up till the next day I do vlog on my phone and I do edit on my phone it's the easiest way for me so um, look out I'm for that lie it is a little nerve-wracking because you are being vulnerable you are showing your life to a whole bunch of people it's easier for me to show my life to strangers and it I'll is back so like I was saying I'm a little nervous but I do enjoy showing my life to others because I'm just if you need healing, si necesita sanidad, call his name, llama su nombre. You are my son, tu es Rafa, my healer, mi sanador. Thanksgiving and I'm making um, pomegranate fruit salad and we're here at the supermarket and it's so busy. Yeah right, it's like the emptiest one. The day before Thanksgiving. Good job in coming here babe. Mm, good suggestion. Did. Look. Look at this. <sighs> I guess I'll pick these up. Huh? Oh sorry, I got distracted.
Happy Thanksgiving, friends. I am grateful for waking up, first of all, and opening my eyes. And second of all, for a good cup of coffee. Yes, I drink my coffee black. Enjoy. Good morning, friends. Here's my morning face. Swollen with black circles under my eyes. I can say it's a good morning so far. Last night, we got home around 6. And we had soup because I made soup. And then as soon as I finished, I came to the sofa and I laid on it. I was so exhausted yesterday and my body felt like I had been up like early, early, early in the morning and been doing a lot of um, work movement, which I didn't. But I felt my body felt so tired that it just wanted to be laying on the sofa. So by seven o'clock, I was already on my sofa. On my um, this sofa, laying down, and I was here till like 8.30, and I couldn't get up, my back hurt, I mean, I was just in pain, it was just the weirdest thing ever, and um, I took an ibuprofen, laid down again for a while, then got back up again, I just couldn't, and I told my husband, I don't feel good, I do not feel good whatsoever, I'm going to the bed, and we went to the bed, and to sleep I went and this morning our church was they were gonna feed the homeless and unfortunately I couldn't go but my husband did go so he's over there now it's just a beautiful thing to do on Thanksgiving Day being selfless I feel bad that I couldn't go I just couldn't still right now I can't you can see it in my eyes how tired I am and I don't get it because I went to sleep early and I slept the whole night and I woke up and I still feel exhausted I still feel my body is aching and I hope it's not because I am getting sick that's not gonna happen I'm gonna take care of myself today I'm gonna have some soup I have oranges I have tea I'm drinking my coffee now oh my god oh my god anyways yes so this is our first vlog, and I hope that you stick around with us. Yeah. Don't I look so much better? I mean, I look more alive than I did maybe a few hours ago. So after I drank my coffee, I went and I laid down again for, I think, an hour or so. And um, I think I fell asleep for like 15, 20 minutes. Then I just stayed on the bed resting my body because that's what my body needed if you don't know this now you will I suffer from severe migraines I mean so bad that it just what's the word I'm looking for paralyzes me and I have to lay on that bed and I can't get up I can't hear noise I can't see light I can't smell I mean I just have to lay on that bed sometimes it gets so severe that I end up in the hospital because with headache comes nausea and vomiting and when it gets to that point with me with vomiting I just can't stop and then I start to vomit blood and that's when I run to the hospital I don't know why I wait that long but I always feel that my pills are my pills are gonna work and they don't work sometimes so this time thank God that it's been three days that I haven't taken any pills thank you Lord and I have been just rushing and laying down and to see if I can take care of it myself if not I'll go to the pills I don't want to so I try my best not to take them but look at me now I'm better I took a bath I wash my hair I put this up I put my apron on and I'm ready to start prepping for Thanksgiving I'm not cooking I'm making a pomegranate, orange, apple, basil, and parsley, and I don't know what else is in it. Salad, fruit salad, and I'm making like a an appetizer dish with avocados um, cut into little pieces, like cup, actually, avocado cups. And then I put it in with a, uh, a dressing, a special dressing with tomatoes. I mean, you're going to see it, so yes, so I'm ready to get this going. 
one cup of cilantro, some lemon for lemon juice, one three cups of Greek yogurt, one fourth of cumin, and two garlic cloves, and a scallion. What's my baby making? Making crab meat salad. And where do you put it in? I uh, can't say. It's a secret. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry, you're the ingredients Here. giver, not me. <laughs> this is a dressing for avocados. That's red onions, tomatoes in half, cherry tomatoes, and cilantro. The recipe this is a fruit salad, pomegranate, apples, oranges, basil, and parsley. <laughs> so, we are on our way out. It's 4.07. And I had a hair mishap. I decided to put my hair curly today. And I have a, a gel cream that I use that makes my hair nice and um, soft with soft curls. And then I use the diffuser, blah, blah. So my husband recently bought gel because he's growing out his hair on the top. A little mohawk he wants to do. So I decided to use it. So let me try this. I left it in my towel for maybe three hours, which I shouldn't have done that. And when I pulled it down, my hair was hard and stiff and I couldn't put any kind of movement to it. It was just really, really bad. So I said, if I wet it, maybe it'll loosen it up. Maybe the gel will just, you know, loosen up a little bit. No, it just made it worse and it made my hair straight. And it was just really, really, really ugly looking. So when that happens, what can you do? Just pick your hair up. Because I wasn't about to watch it and do it again. Wash it and do it again. So I just left it as is. So we're headed to my sister-in-law's house. I have sister's crab me here. My stuff. And um, let's get ready to chow down. <laughs> <laughs> and this is what my avocado cups look like. My beard? Oh. I thought you were going to say Yeah, we went out to feed the homeless. That was really, really, really nice. Was really nice. So I did it. I, I, I did. I enjoyed that a lot. Thank you. Me too. Um, I'm most grateful for today for spending time with family. Because during the holidays, sometimes you get a feeling of nostalgia. Like something is missing. Like you're tickling me. I know what you mean. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> so. Um, I always feel like something is missing, so it's nice to be with family. Even when you're with family, sometimes there's family that's not here, so you still feel like yeah. it's um, good to be around. But we had a good day today, yes. we ate a lot, we laughed. NewYorkJets.com mm. forward slash Jack Black. Vote for me. Best beer contest. Let's go vote.